What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. On today's episode, we're going to start the Super Multi Challenge within the Battle Tree. So if you guys are excited for it, definitely smash that like button and of course, share the video with a friend. Let's do this, I am ready. Now, here's the thing. We're going to go through, I'm going to put on my Z Crystal over here, my Z Ring. But the Z Crystal that I'm going to change... Whoa... Is the Fire Z. Yeah, let's put the Fire EMZ, because we've got a Pokemon on our team with the Fire EMZ. Oh, it's going to be great. Today is going to be... Woo! So here's the thing. So all throughout Pokemon Sun and Moon, Super Singles and Super Doubles, you can potentially scout out different NPCs to join you and play in the Super Multi. Had I known this going in there, I would have scouted a whole bunch of them. But, as of playing this right now, I I, I didn't do that. I, I would have loved to scout them at the time. I thought it was, you can go and... Whoever you fought, you can scout Wally, Cynthia, whoever you want. I thought it was going to be like that, but it's not. And it's going to be lame. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just not... The only person that I have is Rada. And she has a Barbarical, and she's got a Hawlucha. And her movements are unpredictable. I don't know who she's going to attack. So, the best thing that I would suggest for all of you guys is, if you have two Nintendo 3DSs and you have... <laughs> if you have Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, that's probably your best bet. Trading over the Pokemon uh, to either version, and then playing with two... Nintendo 3DS. This is my generic uh, first gen Nintendo 3DS, and then this is my new Nintendo 3DS. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Uh, I did put a poll on Twitter. A lot of you guys are saying try your luck with the CPUs, but I mean, it's it's not like I can. I only I only have Rada. I don't have like cool Wally or Cynthia or I don't know what is her name. Whatever his name was, Boris. All right, so here's the team that I'm going to bring on board. Now, this is a, a very interesting team. It consists of Zerkatree, which is a very fast and strong Pokemon. Zerkatree with Discharge. Uh, he's also got a Choice Scarf on so that he can outspeed everyone. Uh, I'll show him to you. So here he is right now, Zerkatree. Um, yeah, he's, he's good. I like this guy a lot. Volt Switch, Discharge, Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam with the Beast Boost. Going to boost his special attack stat. Now, he's a really good one. I like him. So, Choice Scarf, KOing with Discharge, and maybe Dazzling Gleam. I can only choose one because it is Choice Scarf. Now, here's a Torkoal. He's really good as well. Uh, I like him simply because we have Protect, we've got Solar Beam, we've got Heat Wave and Eruption. He has the ability Drought, which brings out the Sun, and Fiery MZ to blast a nuke on anyone last minute. So he is going to be great for the team. Now, you're wondering, okay, Abdallah, who are you bringing on the second Nintendo 3DS? All right, well, although I don't have my capture card hooked up, um, I will show you guys once we're in battle. I did mention a little bit earlier about Oranguru uh, being one of the best doubles teammates just in the game, period, because he can work so well with so many different Pokemon. So we're going to be searching for the other Nintendo 3DS, and I have both of them right in front of me. So if you ever see me looking this way, I'm looking at one Nintendo 3DS and looking at the other one. So <laughs> I've gone through pretty far in uh, my my Pokemon Moon version, and uh, I kind of kept the default, but I took off my hat, <laughs> and I'm wearing a cooler shirt. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the doppelganger of Dollar right next to me. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is going to be another round of super doubles, technically, but there are going to be some little intricacies that you guys are going to notice when it comes to multi-battle. Uh, if you have two Pokemon on one side that get knocked out, and your partner still has two Pokemon, he can't throw that Pokemon into the empty slot. So that's going to be very, very hard to deal with. Okay, so here comes Zerkatree. Uh, he's he's an interesting Christmas tree. I felt, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's Christmas time, it's holiday season, let's go with Zerkatree and, and see what's up. So right off the bat, Oranguru is a Pokemon that can use a move Instruct. And with Instruct, uh, he'll be able to sacrifice his turn to give anyone else another turn. So Zerkatree can potentially have two turns. So I'm, I'm trying to think of what can be really good right here. 
I want to Volt Switch out into my um, Torkoal. I'm going to Volt Switch out into Torkoal. I'm going to go and do a Trick Room right now with the uh, Oranguru. Oranguru Trick Room is pretty good because uh, right now uh, I know that I'm going back, so that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to go switch into Torkoal right now. And then the last Pokemon that we brought on my other Nintendo 3DS is Garchomp from the previous rounds. So Garchomp, I figured if Garchomp can come out and do some Earthquakes last minute, I think it'll be okay. So here goes Torkoal getting hit by a Crunch. I'm not really sure why he put Crunch. Oh, that's good. I mean, <laughs> we're okay with getting an Icy Wind right now. Absolutely are. <laughs> Because uh, we're going to bust out our Trick Room. And that's going to make us even faster under Trick Room. So that's good. Now, in case you guys don't know what Trick Room is, it's uh, for five turns, you use one move, and it changes the dimension. So now all the slow Pokemon go first. So it's opposite. So what we're going to do is we're going to bust out the Heat Wave uh, and attack. And Heat Wave in the Sun is going to be very strong. I have the move Eruption, but since I'm not at full health, it's not going to be a move that I can uh, viably use. And, of course, we're going to use Instruct with Oranguru so that... Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, fine. We can go through and beat up the ice cream. That would have been a clean double KO. That's okay. So now I'm going to instruct the Torkoal, and Torkoal is going to use his Heat Wave one more time to get another opportunity to hit this Mag Manectric over here. Boom, Heat Wave in the Sun still was able to KO this guy. Imagine if Torkoal had some sort of ability that allowed him to do even more beast boost nonsense, like Moxie, without the uh, drought, that would be really cool. So this is also a very, very good setup right here, simply because I'm going to outspeed all these clowns, uh, we're going to go for the Heat Wave, and we're going to go for the Instruct on Torkoal, and we're all set, it's done. Boom! Wow, we were able to just get the clean, clean... KO right over there. So Togedemaru being a Steel type, super effective down. The other Leafeon being a Grass type, super effective down as well. So that's really good. Um, again, this isn't super doubles. This is super multi. So it's a lot harder simply because if one side of the Pokemon, uh, one side of the trainer loses both of his Pokemon, you can't throw that other one in the empty spot. And it's just going to be 1v2 throughout the entire rest of the battle. So... It's going to be a little tough. And one of the things that you can't do in Super Multi is you can't battle people, or battle with people online. Uh, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of a missed opportunity. But I can see why they did it. The whole going online, the whole connection issues. Um, if there's a disconnect, you know, what happens, you start all over. I don't know. Maybe it's just not programmed that way. So here comes Tyranitar. Wow. And Typhlosion. If this is a Sandstream Tyranitar... I am going to switch out. I'm going to Volt Switch onto Typhlosion. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I don't really want to stay in, and I'm kind of afraid of Typhlosion, so we're going to go with the Volt Switch on top of Typhlosion right now, and we're going to go into Trick Room right now. Okay, so that's good. I'm, I'm going to use the Volt Switch. We're going to do some hefty damage. It won't KO, and that's fine. So here comes uh, our good friend Torkoal. Torkoal is going to come out if... I don't... He's not going to use Earthquake. He's not going to use Eruption. I don't know what he's going to use, to be honest. Here goes my Drought, changing the weather, which is great. Uh, sun... Oh, look at you! <laughs> he aimed for the sunny day. And... That's not good. Okay. So this is... Oh, am I going to be able to get the Trick Room up? Did I do it yet? No, I'm super slow. But that's okay. I didn't get fully paralyzed. That would have been bad. If I got fully paralyzed... That would have been ruined. Okay, so uh, right now we're going to go for the Eruption. Since I'm at full health, that's going to be very strong. I'm going to go and instruct. Oh, no, no! <laughs> I instructed the wrong Pokemon. That's a... Oh, no! That's really not good. Great. Okay, that's a misclick. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, no! I'll use instruct on this clown instead of my guy. I didn't realize he had flash fire. Mm-hmm. Well, at least he used Sunny Day. So now I'm super slow. 
So what is he going to use? Torkoal, Paralyzed, Solar Beam? Ah, oh, great. Well, that's why uh, it doesn't default. I was going to say, like, it, it doesn't default to your partner. It's just anything. So misclicks can happen. Watch out. Watch out for that. All right, so what we're going to do is um, I can't do an eruption. I'm going to go for the Solar Beam onto the T-Tar. We're also going to go for the, um, I guess, Instruct. Solar Beam on T-Tar is going to be strong. So, and it's going to be super effective. I'm just going to go for Psychic on top of the Typhlosion just to get him out of here. All right, let's... Oh, come on! I guess that's what happens when we're going paralyzed, right? Am I paralyzed too? Stealth Rock, okay. Y you're not supposed to use Stealth Rock in doubles, guys. Okay, that's fine. Typhlosion, Flamethrower in the sun. It's going to be very hurtful. Wow, wow! You are lucky, dude! So I'm holding on to that Citrus Berry. So what just happened? Did we just not do anything that turn? What is going on? Solar Beam. Tyranitar. Psychic. Typhlosion. Why? What is happening? Psychic, get rid of this guy. Thank you. I can't take another fire move like that. Rock Slide, super effective and probably a double KO. No, wow, that's actually really weak. Arcanine, probably another Pokemon with Flash Fire. All right, well. <laughs> yeah, see about that. I just gotta get this Solar Beam off, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Psychic on Arcanine. I mean, if push comes to shove, I, I've got Garchomp in the wings, so Garchomp can go through and Earthquake everyone on screen. I don't know how strong that's going to be. That's really not that strong. And here's a Psychic that is probably going to do half health. Not even. That's like, okay. Here goes a Rock Slide. We're going to survive it. That's fine. And a Rangaroo. Solar Beam. Look at this guy using Solar Beam. What are you doing? Fire? What's with fire types and Solar Beam? I don't know. Wow. Whoa. Okay. I'm able to survive. Oh, the sunlight's gone. But Trick Room's still... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, gosh. Here we go. So, who's coming out? Garchomp's coming out. That's fine. Garchomp's coming out. He can use Earthquake and just finish everyone off. Wow. Uh, that was kind of rough. Usually, these matches shouldn't be that rough. Alright, we're gonna go there, we're gonna go for Protect, and if my Protect fails, then... You know what? Oh well. Okay, luckily Protect made it. I don't know what a paralyzed Torkoal outside of Trick Room is gonna end up doing for our team, but... Give it a shot. Never know what's gonna happen, right? Boom! Super effective double KO. All right, let's go. So this is a different team. This is Orangaroo. And see, many things can go through or get past Orangaroo. Leapard. All right, so I don't know what what this thing's going to try, but I guess I'm going to go for the Heat Wave. I could go for the Eruption, right? With like 3 HP Eruption. <laughs> no way. All right, yeah, we're going to go for the Dragon Claw. Fake out who? No, not my 3 HP. How dare you fake that out? That's okay. That's okay. Boom! Out of here. Look at that clean one-hit KO. We're good. Dragon, uh, <laughs> dragon type moves are so good in the game. Although it's not like Generation One. No, Generation Two, right? No, I don't remember. Generation One didn't really have any dragon type moves. What was it? Just uh, Dragon Rage, and that was it. But the dragon typing was really good. Okay. So, uh, let's let's do this. Let's continue on. It's, it's going to be interesting because at the very end of this playlist, on the grand finale, we're going to fight red and blue at the same time. Okay, Prudence. 
Office Worker Prudence with Noivern Florges. So this is not ideal. You know what? I can go for the Dazzling Gleam and stay in. Let's try that. Let's go for the Double Dazzling Gleam. And see what happens. Whew! Okay, here we go. Noivern's Frisk. There we go. Looking at my items. Now that you've seen my items, I have to KO you. Alright, so we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to do Dazzling Gleam. And we're going to instruct the Dazzling Gleam. Alright, so that's good. We're all set. No more misclicks. Not like that misclick mattered anyway. So that was decent. Boom Burst. Wow, that hurts. Wow, 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 wow. Floor just Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Dang. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine, because right now, what's great about Zerkatry and all of the Ultra Beasts in general, is the fact that they have Beast Boost. And now that I've KO'd Noivern, my strongest stat is going to get boosted up, which is my special attack stat. So that's very good. I'm at a plus one special attack. I've got a choice scarf, so I'm gonna outspeed everything. And we're gonna be good. Here's Spiritum, yes! Spiritum is gonna get owned by this Dazzling Gleam. I'm so glad I, I locked myself into this. And I believe Florges should be able to not do any kinds of moves because I don't think Floor just can take this. It's a plus, yeah, of course not. Sucker Punch, oh man, no! Unbelievable, the counter to my team. Ah, uh, it's terrible. Dazzling Gleam is gonna hurt. Okay, we're gonna bust out the Citrus Berry. Wow, wow, okay. Mmm. Instruct is not gonna work. That was bad. That's okay, we got Torkoal. And this is a fresh Torkoal. So, I don't know if I should use Heat Wave. I think it'll be safe to use Heat Wave. But let's just get that Trick Room up anyway. Or should I just go for the risk of the Eruption? No, you know, it's safe to use Heat Wave. Alright, we're gonna get that Trick Room up. Trick Room Heat Wave. Oh, you know what I should have done? Ah, that's right, I have Protect on him. That's the strategy. Ah, oh, I forgot. Pain Split on me? What? Come on. That Eruption would still be strong. Okay, so, yeah, that's, that's okay. Yeah, so, next time that this instance happened, I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect with Torkoal to preserve his HP, and then go for the full HP Eruption, which is very strong. So now that we're, uh, Twisted Dimensions, I'm still gonna go for the Eruption, because it's very, very strong, and we are going to instruct Torkoal. So, regardless of if Spiritome wants a Sucker Punch, we're gonna be all right. Here goes that eruption. It's gonna be strong. Boom! Wow! In the sun, sun boosted eruption is strong. And yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, use it on the trainers. Oh, come on! They're just standing there. You can easily burn them a little bit. Give them a little suntan. Okay, here comes Gardevoir. I'm not too worried about Gardevoir. Another eruption should be okay. And instruct to get it going. Dude, Orangaroo's good. Wow. Okay, that doesn't matter. If you survived it, you can't survive two of them. Yes! Oranguru. Oranguru. Hey, Abdallah. It's pronounced Oranguru. I love it. The Pokemon community is so protective of pronunciations, and half of the time they think that the pronunciations are wrong anyway. Huh. <laughs> I love reading some comments. Oh, man. I've just noticed that a lot more than, like, the Yokai Watch community. Because there's really not too many, like, Yokai that you can pronounce wrong. And even if you can, I mean, people aren't going to go and, like, attempt to correct you on it. But I've noticed that, like, at least... The younger audience of Pokemon is very protective of pronunciations. Like, uh, like Arceus, for example. Uh, you know, people, I got into a heated argument with a little kid. He's like, hey, Abdallah, it's Arceus. 
I'm like, yeah, it was Arceus, but then they changed it to make it, you know, a little bit safer. Arceus. It's Arceus. Anyway, I digress. Here we go. Wishy-washy. I'm going to get rid of this guy. We're going to discharge this entire team. It's going to be great. Discharge. We're going to uh, instruct. Yeah, let's get him. Look at that fish. Wishy-washy fish. All right, Christmas tree, let's go. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. How are you going to beat up the fish? All right, here we go. Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. How are you going to beat up the fish? Boom! Just like that. Oh, very close, very close. That's okay. It did over 50 to Kingdra. And look at you with that citrus berry to stay in your big schooled form. Outrage. Oh, no! On Orangaroo. Orangaroo. Or yeah, nice! So you can't control which way Outrage goes. I don't know if Zergatry could have taken that. But here goes that second discharge, so we're good. Alright, yeah! And we're gonna get a plus two special attack. Oh, it's so exciting! Yes! Watch, it's gonna say Beast Boost, and it's gonna say my special attack raise sharply. Boom, because we knocked out two of them. So now we're at plus two, outspeeding everything. So the only thing that can really ruin our train is a couple ground types. Here's S Cavalier and Porygon Z. All right, we got this. This is going to be an easy two, um, three turn, three turn battle. We're done. All right, here we go. Discharge, and we're going to do Instruct on Zerkatry. Boom. Will this one-hit KO the entire other side? Ooh, I knew us Cavalier is bulky. All right. He got paralyzed, though. There goes Porygon Z. Now I'm at plus three. Oh, man. Beast Boost. He's... Once his train starts going, it's hard to stop him. Okay. S Cavalier's attack. And I'm going to instruct, and it's going to be over. So, <laughs> congratulations. Ooh, that's so good. And Oranguru's ability of telepathy is even better. It's really good. Oran Guru, Oran Juru, let's do it. All right, sorry guys, we gotta get up to number ten and beat our special trainer and move on. Battle number five. We're we only on four battles. These are a little bit longer. Do you guys notice my doppelganger's shirt? <laughs> we have the same hairstyle. My Pokemon Moon version. Okay, we doing this? Alright, little kid, that Pokeball is bigger than your head. Alright, you guys look like you're related. That's how we heroes Doug Trio. <laughs> Doug Trio in the fridge. Take it to the fridge! Alright, so what is our best bet here? Dazzling Gleam? Switch out, do some... Yeah, switch out, do some fire type attacks. Yeah, that's going to be great. Alright, we're going to Volt Switch out. I'm going to Volt Switch on Rotom. I am going to Trick Room on the Volt Switch. So that when our good friend Torkoal comes out, he's going to be set up. He's going to be good to go. All right. Clicking on Torkoal. Bring him in. Fire EMZ. We have yet to use it. So we'll see when when it comes like a dire situation. I don't know. Maybe I should have given Torkoal like lefties or something. Dig. Look at this guy. Get a little of this guy digging underground. I could just double protect. Waste to turn a trick room, double protect. Um Yeah. Yeah, that's safe. Cause I don't know which Oh, he's probably went towards Zerkatry, so he's probably on the um Torkoal spot. Um I am going to yeah, we're gonna do the double protect. Cause I don't wanna get hit by a dig, a nonsense dig. Get out of here. Alright. 
Double Protect. Wasting one turn of Drought and Trick Room, which is fine. I mean, the turn's gonna be... The game's gonna be over anyway. Charge Beam, not gonna work. Sorry, buddy. Dig, not gonna work. I knew it was gonna be on Torquil. I could have gotten away with using a Psychic. But that's alright. That's alright. Here, here we go. So we're going to Eruption. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so strong. And we're gonna Instruct it on Torquil. Here we go. Eruption in the sun, full HP, max special attack. No one's surviving that. Torkoal is just really good this generation, especially in doubles. Like, there, there are certain Pokemon where... <laughs> look at this, I, I could have done like a setup move or something. That's alright. Uh, there are certain Pokemon that are really, I don't know, mediocre in singles, but then they just rock in doubles. And I would say that this Torkoal is really good. I mean... Unless you got a full-on Trick Room team, it's going to be hard. Intimidate, look at you. All right, so I need to do another Eruption two times because both these guys resist the hit. But while I'm still at full HP, I might as well, right? Uh, so I'm going to Instruct Torkoal. I'm going to do that. I know it's resisted, but you know what? It's my strongest move. And it's going to do more than half, so that's all I needed. That's <laughs> so crazy. Even if you resist it. It's so strong. This is like easy mode. Oh, look at Incineroar living with 1 HP. Did he really? Min, look at him bulking up. Okay. Uh, good times. Wow, this is actually a bad matchup because if Oranguru was just fighting this guy, I on the only attacking move I have is Psychic, so... Let's just do Eruption one more time, and I might as well instruct, so here we go. Just go. Spam Eruption. How did you survive? And he had the hidden ability, too. The unreleased hidden ability. It's crazy. All right, good job, Doppelganger. Good job, Abdallahs. So, if you guys are in the comments and you said, good job, Abdallahs, you mean, like, all three of us, right? Because then there's me, then there's me, and then there's me, right? <laughs> me, the in-game me, and then the in-game Doppelganger me without the hat and the cooler shirt. I don't know if you guys saw the shirt, but, yeah, the shirt looks pretty sweet. I got it from a Pokemon Center in a very, very shady neighborhood. Look at this guy with the baseball bat. I don't think I've ever seen that sprite. Wow. Oh, never, never mind. He's, uh... <laughs> He's got a baseball bat. But yet, same poses. Okay. All right. So, I can totally destroy these guys with this charge. That's going to be so great. Come on, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. I believe in Santa. Let's go! <laughs> of course. Alright, instruct. We're done. So, we're gonna do the electrical discharge here. Now, with discharge, I don't know if uh, you've noticed, but discharge attacks everyone on the screen. Weakness policy, wow. Better watch out for that. <laughs> Weakness policy, ghost type oracorio. Oh, and the Calm Mind, uh-oh. I don't know how bulky the Ghost version is. Uh, so I'll have, to re I'll have to research that. Instruct, watch out, here we go. Now we're at plus two. The train, the locomotive is just coming right through. Right through your team. Hard to stop it. Unless you got Sucker Punch or a ground type. Who's a ground type that resists Fairy? And grass. I guess like a steel ground type. Is there a steel ground type? Oh, Doug Trio. Yeah, yeah. Doug Trio is a pretty good check to this Zerka Tree. Okay, here comes Raichu. I am. I'm at plus two. I'm gonna stay in. I can easily do half their health. I'm just gonna stay in, and we're gonna see how far this takes us. 
Scarf Zerkatry using an electric move against two electric Pokemon. It should do half their health. Okay, half of Raichu's health, at least. Light Screen, wow, that's a good strategy. Light Screen boosting their special defense. Volt Switching out, but he's got no one to Volt Switch out to. So here comes that Strong Instruct. That's okay, next turn we're just going to do the exact same thing. Will this be able to KO the Raichu? No, I don't think so. Yes, it will. Excellent. So now I'm going to get my plus three beast boost. That's scary, man. That is very scary. Okay, excellent. Now all we need to do is discharge into the electrode and we can instruct and go from there. All right. Good game. GG's. Yeah, guess I'm out. But I'm, but I'm. And then the baby cries. And then you say, Where have you been and where are your parents? Okay, here we go. Moving on. We have four more battles and then we're done, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited for it. Very much so. Okay, so it's a businessman whose tie is tied a little bit too short. I don't know if you guys noticed, but in proper um, <laughs> in proper dressings, your tie should come to right about your uh, your belt buckle. So that tie is a little bit too short on him. So here is an interesting Pokemon we haven't seen yet on screen. This is the. Um, He's the uh, Turtonator, the Dragon Fire type. Don't really have much on him besides what? Uh, yeah, I can do Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam will be okay. And then if I instruct it, maybe I can get the two-hit KO. Yeah, there's nothing that really walls the set. Will Raichu take half health? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Psy Shock. That's going to hurt. On my physical side? Okay. Wow, dude, are you kidding me? Get that Raichu out of here. Dazzling Gleam, not stab. Oh, you didn't. That's okay, I don't... <laughs> Taunt doesn't matter to me. We're gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam Instruct one more time, and we're gonna be able to KO this uh, both of them next, this upcoming turn. Wow, that was interesting. I can't believe Raichu just straight up survived. It doesn't matter, if even if he survived or not, because I'm still going to get two hits before Turtonator can actually do any work against me. So here's my second beast boost, or my first beast boost. We're going to use Instruct, allow our Christmas tree to go full on discharge, and finish this guy off before he can do any kinds of attacks. So I guess I got lucky that he used Taunt. I mean, Taunt is very good, especially in Zerkatry, uh, because Zerkatry can learn the move Tail Glow, and he can get to plus three really quick, so it's very good to taunt a Zerkatry, just to prevent any shenanigans like that. So here comes Ursaring, and Kling Clang. Okay, I'm still gonna run my Zerkatry into the ground, because I'm at the plus two. Although I cannot change my moves because of Choice Scarf, it's still worth it right now to make sure that I outspeed everyone. And I know Dis uh, Dazzling Gleam is a, a resisted hit on Kling Clang, so I'm lucky if I'll do half health. So, yeah, that's okay. Gear grind. You know what really grinds my gears? What are you doing? Oh, it's a multi-hit attack, isn't it? Oh, two times. Lucky you. <laughs> you can go two to five times, and if you get two, that's a terrible roll. So let's just get rid of Ursa Ring right away. He, d he came in to do nothing. I'm going to get that beast boost, and then we can just proceed to KO with the three-hit KO on this uh, Kling Kling over here. So this is fine. This this team is working wonders. I can't believe Zerkatry is just so useful in doubles like this. I kind of want to see what Zerkatry Zirk can do outside of a Choice Scarf. Uh, if I paired him up with someone that will allow him to use a Tail Glow. Wow. 
Ma okay, so imagine this. Imagine. Oh my goodness. Clefable with Zerkatry. Mm, Life Orb? Life Orb Zerkatry? Oh my goodness, that would be crazy strong. Yeah, that would be crazy strong. So Clefable would use Follow Me, where he goes like this. Woo, 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 woo. And he directs all the attention at Zerkatry. Or maybe I'll just go um, Focus Sash Zerkatry. Wow, that's a crazy team. I'm thinking about it right now. All right, so Clefable would use Follow Me. Zerkatry would have a Focus Sash in case someone wants to use an Earthquake. And then he would use Tail Glow first turn. And then he used Tail Glow again. He'd be at plus six. Use Discharge and then Protect with Clefable. Oh, that's crazy. And then I'd also run Dazzling Gleam for the double attack. And then one more move. Yeah, I would... I don't know if I'd bring Protect. Oh, look at this team. Get a load of these guys. Wow, look at these Electric Weak Pokemon. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Same team. Discharge on Pringles over here. Once you pop, the fun don't stop. Oh, man, Jellicent actually survived it. Good job. Pringles over here. I used to like Jellicent a lot. There was very... Uh, there's a lot of... For my competitive team, there's a lot of rivalry between having a Jellicent Water Absorb on my team or bringing a Vaporeon, which is my favorite Pokemon in the game, on my team. There's a lot of rivalry for that spot. Uh, well, who do you guys think is better, Vaporeon or Pringles? Is this an all-water type team? Just about. Wow. Pringles Jellicent. Uh, the blue one, the male one, looks like the Pringles mascot. That's why I call him that. Um, but yeah, that's... It was very tough. I mean, I like I like the ghost typing. You can switch into normal attacks if you see one coming. But Vaporeon's my favorite Pokemon. I couldn't just straight up abandon it. Boom, you're done. Caracosta with the sturdy. Congrats. Caracosta's rather slow. So we got that Beast Boost. Beast Boost. Okay, now this happens. Citrus Berry, nothing. You're not going to survive. This team was super weak against electricity. And when you're building your team, you got to make sure that you watch out for if your team is completely walled by a certain type. Or if your team is completely weak to a certain type. With my example of being in super doubles, <clears throat> having the three of my Pokemon a week against fairy types, yes, it was very, very tough. But I was able to work around it. I had answers to certain certain fairy type Pokemon where I just plowed right through them with neutral effective moves. So just find a way. And that's that's kind of what being a Pokemon trainer is all about. Knowing the different typings, knowing all the coverage, and that's why I love Pokemon battling so much. It's really fun. So here we go. The time has finally come. Beast boost. Beast boost. All right, two more battles. Here's the youngster, Joey. Hey, Florian. Hello, Joey. Or Sor Sorely. Sorely losing. All right, well, we can do the discharge. Lapras is a water type, so it's going to take super effective damage on it. I don't know if this is going to be Speed Boost, Bla uh, Sp Speed Boost Blaziken. We'll find out. But Speed Boost Blaziken is a very, very good Pokemon. Oh, my gosh. So instruct on... Zerkatry, and we're good. I think this should be able to KO both of them. If Lapras survives it, we know it's a pretty bulky set. Okay, that's great. As long as it... Oh, high jump kick. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, man. Come on. That would have been crazy. Well, you know what? I don't know if I'm just mad because I didn't get to KO him right now and get the plus two. Or if I'm mad because I hate missing high jump kick. High jump kick, you go flying into the air with 90% accuracy. And if that one 10% accuracy allows you to miss or the Pokemon uses protect, you lose like half of your health. Or a good chunk. I don't remember the exact numbers, but you lose a lot of your health because of a missed high jump kick. 
So using high jump kick in doubles is totally not recommended. Here goes Shinotic. I like Shinotic. Remember we had the team of <laughs> Shinotic and Milotic? <laughs> oh, so funny. So here's Bruxish. Ooh, trying to survive this plus one electric attack. Good luck. Oh, get out of here, one HP. I can't believe you. Luckily you got paralyzed. Wakehanberry. Brux is using Psychic. Even so, you're faster than a Ranguru. Wow. Okay. Come on, Shinotic! Let's get that Toad! Are you gonna nickname your Shinotic Toad? Like Pink Toad? It's like Pink Toad. If Pink Toad ate a weird mushroom <laughs> from Mario Maker, <laughs> he would totally look like Shinotic right now. Oh, that's so funny. Moonblast! Watch out, Zerka Tree! You can take one. Yeah, with 10 HP you can. Okay, so I got plus two right now. And who's coming in? Is anyone coming in? Hello? Oh, that's right. You are the last Pokemon. Okay. So if that's the case, then we're going to do a Discharge. And I'm going to do a Psychic. Alright, so that's fine. Too bad Oranguru doesn't have Helping Hand. That would be very cool. Come on, Psychic! Be able to KO at that range. Go! What? Moonblast! Oh my... Okay, this thing is pretty bulky. No wonder I want to make a team around it so bad. Shinotic, man, it's got spotlight. It's got some sort of power sap move. All right, GG's, Shinotic. You just stalled the inevitable because I'm just going to go and heat wave you. I could go for the eruption, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah! Whoa! Come on! I'm faster! Nope, Sludge Bomb. Poison type move. Boom! Heat Wave. Done. Now the Z Crystal Heat Wave, or sorry, Z Crystal Eruption is so strong. It's like Hyper Beam. It's like the fire version of Hyper Beam. In the sun? That's like the strongest move in the game. Someone do the base damage of. In the sun, stab, eruption, Z crystal, fireium Z. It doesn't even matter if you're at full health or not. It's, it just takes the base power and <laughs> just makes it insane. All right, here we go. The last battle, 50 minute episode. It's Grimsley and Wally. Hey, nice. What's up, guys? I hope you bring your Gardevoir. That would be cool to beat up. Oh, or doesn't Wally have a. Um... Uh, he's got both versions of Gardevoir. Gallade and Gardevoir. Here's Wally! Wally! Right? The little robot? How? Okay, that's not good. Houndoom. Well? Houndoom can have flash fire, right? I don't want to switch into my fire guy. There's really nothing I could do against... I'm going to protect with the Ranguru. I'm going to discharge just to get the damage. Okay, I'm going to protect because I have a feeling that like a psychic move is coming right at a Ranguru. Or not psychic, uh, a dark move. Like dark pulse. And if that's the case, that's going to be bad. Come on. I can do it. I can do it. Two hit KO. Yes, that's a two hit KO. That's awesome. Dark Pulse. Yes, knew it. Nice. Predicted. And here comes a T Bolt. Flash Cannon. On a Ranguru. Beautiful. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was awesome. Okay. Very good prediction. That worked out very well in our favor. What we're going to do is we're going to discharge again. That's going to KO the Houndoom. We will instruct Zerkatry. To proceed to KO Magnezone with the plus one off of the Beast Boost. No, no, it won't be. 
But that's okay. I'll get very close to KOing the Magnezone. At plus one, a resisted hit. Magnet Rise, watch out! He's levitating above ground, and he's only weak against fighting attacks now. And fire attacks. Okay. Watch out! Magnet Rise! Alright, uh, we got this. We got this. Shock him! Shock him! KO him! Yes! That actually worked! Okay, so my original plan of thinking that I'd be able to KO him... That's probably like a maximum damage roll anyway. So this is good. Bring out Gardevoir, Wally! What are you doing? That is your flagship Pokémon. Leapard, not gonna do anything. Gallade! Alright, I'll take a Gallade. We'll take him on. Is it gonna be Mega? Please be Mega. That would make things a lot more fun if it was a Mega Gallade and you use Shadow Sneak or something. Come on. Yes! Go Mega Gallade! Go Mega Gallade! Yes, we all wanted to see it. This is the first time we've seen Wally in the Battle Tree. Look at that awesome thing. That's... Gallade's awesome. Too bad he can't survive a plus two discharge. Loser! Oh wait, never mind, he did. Dang it! Focus Ash. Okay, close combat on me! Oh, it's gonna hurt so much! <gasps> Whoa! What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh no! I was not counting on this at all. Okay, um, don't worry. We won't freak out. We got this. Watch. Torkoal's gonna come out. I'm going to protect with Torkoal. I am going to use Trick Room, and then we're gonna Eruption. Game, set, match, right? Unless they have something crazy that they're gonna do, so let's go. Alright, protect with Torkoal. Trick Room. I need to not... Oh man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dark type on a Ranguru with Nasty Plot. That may not work. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Fight. Protect with a Ranguru. We're gonna protect with a Ranguru. I know that dark, um... That dark move is coming right at me. So let's just do this. Protect with a Ranguru. They're gonna aim that Dark Pulse at him, they're gonna aim the Shadow Sneak at him. Close combat. Oh yeah! Watch, watch, Dark Pulse. Double! Oh yeah! Predicted! Stylus drop! Boom! See, you know, that's the exciting part about watching VGC. Watching the video game championships of Pokémon, all these double battles. If you get a killer pr prediction like that, that's so cool! All right, Wally. That was that was well worth it. Thank you. That was fun. It's fun to play super doubles again, right? <laughs> Even though we're playing super um, uh, super multi. So we are going to take a break uh, with our two Nintendo 3DSs over here, and we will put our challenge on hold for right now. Super fun challenge was interrupted. Wait, I hope it's not like interrupted, interrupted. All right, well, we'll figure it out. Either way, it doesn't matter, because uh, right now, we're 10 wins in. So that is very good. All we need is another 40 wins, and then the grand finale. We're done with the game. So communicating... Um, okay, um, I really hope that was okay. Well, we did it. Either way, spin around a circle, call it a day, save the game, and we're done. So that was exciting. Garchomp is not even... We don't even need him. I could even put, like, a Shinotic on my team if I wanted to. Why would I do that? Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to continue on with even more Super Multi with your help and support. So go through and smash that like button and share the video with a friend. We are doing a giveaway. Another one. How generous is that? You guys really enjoyed the giveaway on the first episodes or, like, throughout the entire thing. We gave away two copies of Pokemon Sun and Moon. We gave away a Blue Yeti mic. We gave away a bunch of Genesect cards. So we're going to be doing the same thing, but we're giving away one copy of the game, and we're also giving away a strategy guide, we're giving away a bunch of more Genesect cards, we've got a Z-Ring that you can get. All you have to do is just make sure you smash the like button and leave a comment. 
There are more ways of entering in the com in the description below. Go through, watch the uh, playlist over here, newest video on the channel there. Recommendations there, watch my tips and tricks videos there. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, every single day. So don't miss it. We need you to come back. We'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Battle Tree Super Multi. Take care.